What is up YouTube? That's here and today I am super tired because it's currently 12.34 in the morning. I've been sitting in a line in Walmart for like the past six hours waiting for the Nintendo Switch. I actually managed to get one at Walmart. This is the, uh, you can see it right here. It's the gray black one. It's the one that I wanted. I actually like think the gray and black one's a lot better looking than the red and blue one because let's say after like a year of using it, you know, you don't always like wash your hands. You might get like some like grime stuff on the red or the blue it doesn't always hold up a uh, solid black is always better i also managed to pick up a pro controller because i do think that this is going to be how we're going to be able to play games like pokken or uh street fighter turbo because i think that's getting a remake on the switch as well and i also picked up uh legend of zelda breath of the wild as long as with uh, this super cool poster because my buddy pre-reg me this game at gamestop so what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be unboxing all of these things and uh hopefully just uh, talk about what I think about the system in general. It's a pretty cool box. Uh, I know when I unboxed my iPad, instead of getting a case for my iPad, I kept it in the box for a while, so I might actually keep this in the box for a while unless you guys have any suggestions for other things that I can carry it in. So I'm opening it up, and uh, right away, you can see this is the system right here. It comes with a Joy-Con, and it looks like the screen, so we're going to pop out the screen. This thing is so much smaller than I thought it'd be. Like, my head is not an abnormally large head. I know it looks like it uh, right here, but looking at this, like, all right, so this is the screen, right? Um, actually, I'll grab my phone, and I'll grab my iPad mini so we can compare. This is the Nintendo Switch, and like I said, it's very small. It's so much smaller than I thought it'd be. This is it right here. The screen actually looks really high quality, but uh, this is the Switch. This is my phone. My phone actually is kind of big. So if you want uh, further things to compare it with, this is the Switch. This is my 3DS. They're actually, like, similar in size. Like, the 3DS kind of almost as bigger, you know, like, let's just, no, oh, that's, like, not a good comparison, but, like, there, there we go. It's about the same size as, like, the top of the screen. You want even more comparison, here is the Switch. I have Switch. I have Wii U. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the Wii U. The Switch is actually almost a little bit bigger than the screen on the Wii U, so, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense, but this is the Wii U pad, and, uh, one last comparison, like I said, because I said I was going to get it. Ah. Here is the Switch, and here is an iPad Mini. So, uh, it's actually smaller than an iPad Mini, which is, uh, quite small. I thought the system would be bigger for some reason, but, uh, you know, it's not. Which is not a bad thing. It's supposed to be portable. The Switch is wherever, whenever. How do I turn this on? We're going to turn on this. We're going to grab these Joy-Cons. Now, it's really funny me saying this. The Joy-Cons, right? These are the Joy-Cons. It's, it's so much closer to the camera. Let's take them out of the thing. They actually feel... Whoa, these feel way better than I thought they would. Uh, it's for these Joy-Cons. I have very small hands, so it shows these off very well. I have I, this is one of the only times in my life I've ever been happy to have small hands. Because these are made for hands like mine. Uh, it's it, I'm the type of guy that can put his hand up against like a girl's hand and she'll just be able to like over it. So like... I actually have really small hands for a guy, and these are perfect for me. How do I put this in? Oh, that switch noise. Oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, how do I get this out? Okay. And then they come, they slide right out. Pretty good. So we have the Joy-Cons, we have the Switch. What else do we have in here? Just like a battery pack? I don't even know what this box could be. How do I charge this? This is a box of something. Oh, is this... Oh, yeah, I completely forgot that this was even a thing that it came with. This is actually pretty sick. I'm gonna break this thing. <laughs> yeah, the switch goes in this docking station, right? Is it upside down? No, it's right side up. So does this switch need a docking station? Because, like, that's kind of lame. What if I want to play it when it's docking? No idea. I did, like, no research on this system before I got it, guys. So it just docks right in there. I don't know. Oh, does this come out? Oh, so it folds out right here. And you can see there is a spot for, like, AC adapter, USB, or HDMI. Okay. 
I don't know how that works with this. Maybe, oh, so this is what it plays when you want to play in the television. Nice to know. Oh my gosh, this came with something I didn't even know that it came with. This. I can put the switch onto this. Oh, how does this even work? No, that can't be it. That can't be it. No, no, these things slide onto this. Why did I even buy the Pro Controller? Oh, this doesn't feel good. This, whoever, if there's anyone that ever says that, like, this is nice and they like this, they're wrong. This feels really unnatural. This feels like the first time I had to use a GameCube controller, which is something I came around to use and get used to only for Melee, but, like, playing any other GameCube game still feels weird. We got the safety info. All right, here we go. Here are, these, here are the cords. We got HDMI cable. We got this big, huge box, and I think this is the charger. Okay, so that is the switch. Next thing I'm going to unlock is the Pro Controller. Now, the Pro Controller is something that uh, one of my buddies, Jelly Sound, got when they released the Wii U. And he plays Pokken and Smash Brothers with a Pro Controller. And he feels very comfortable with it. He really likes it. So uh, I decided this time that I was going to buy a Pro Controller. I don't know if it's the best idea because it is at a pretty steep $69.99. So I don't know if it's something that... Uh, It'll be worth in the long run, but like, let's say I want to play a two-player game, it might end up being really good. Uh, also, Splatoon and like Street Fighter, those games might require the Pro Controller for at least a little while. I remember when Pokin came out and there was a really there was a shortage of pads. Uh, everyone was using Pro Controllers, so uh, having access to a Pro Controller might not be the worst thing in the world. There is a cord for it, which is probably how you charge it, but it might also be how you use it. And this is what I expected. This thing feels amazing. It feels like the Pokken Pad just times five. It feels solid in my hand. It feels, it's heavy and it feels, it feels like, I don't know if any of you guys remember when you, when they first released Xbox controllers, they were huge and bulky and there's a big circle thing in the middle of them. Uh, this feels like when they remade the Xbox controller and it feels very comfortable in my hands. That's what it looks like. You can see inside of it just a little bit. Really, really solid. Can't wait to put some stickers on this thing. And uh, the next thing, which is probably the most important thing, is Breath of the Wilds. Breath of the Wind. Shows how uh, much of a diehard Zelda fan I am, right? I, I know the I know the like the synonym or not synonyms. I know I know what the letters are there for. So very small game. Looks like a uh, Vita cartridge. And uh, I've actually heard a lot of people talk about. Wow, there's nothing in here. There's like no have fun, Nintendo, whatever thing. When I noticed it, I immediately noticed that it smelled weird. And I've heard, I've heard people talk about how these cartridges don't taste very good. Oh shit, that tastes terrible. Yeah, the, whatever's on here does not taste good. And I don't know why, but I've heard a lot of people talk about that. And I immediately noticed it when you open the case up. That's very, very weird. I don't know why. It might be some type of coating to a... Uh, make it so it doesn't overheat but i think this goes in your switch and this is your game right here it's no longer discs it's little ds looking cartridges it's similar to the way a vita looks vita cartridges but i think that's pretty much it i didn't want to take too long to record this video uh, if you guys have any questions i'll do my best to answer them but uh i'm gonna be looking for games to play on the switch if, if you have any games to recommend let me know what games i should buy and also let me know if you guys want to see switch content on this channel uh i'm probably going to be uploading switch content whether you like it or not but if you guys want to see it uh let me know and i will do my best to produce uh, whatever type of content you guys want to see. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have fun with your own switches. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.